So I've got this ring here and um, what we want to do is we want to render it up. Now you'll see here that there's a lot of really hard edges on this and sometimes filleting will work and it'll work nicely. Other times if it's, um, you know, if you want to leave those hard edges there for manufacturing purposes because when you obviously polish it's going to soften them up, uh, but you need to render them up. There's no need to really worry about uh, filleting the physical piece itself and what we can do is we can use a very cool tool in the render menu called edge soften how this works is this we're going to grab our render menu and you'll see here that we have the edge soften tool which is this guy here apply edge softening now when we select it it will ask here to select the object to apply the edge softening to which is obviously going to be our ring and then hit enter now you can choose the uh, the level of softening you want to go to. Now remembering this is kind of like a fillet, so you don't want to go too far. Uh, let's try say 0.2 and see how that works. So just type in 0.2 and hit enter, and then hit enter again. And what that's going to do is it's going to soften all of those edges up uh, fairly considerably. Now if it can't soften an edge, you'll get a message up here saying uh, was unable to soften X, uh, soften X amount of edges. But if we zoom in here, you can see that uh, on this particular model, by taking it down to 0.2, it's really softened up a lot of those edges there. Now it's important to note that uh, this won't appear in the physical piece that you manufacture or you create uh, your model with. Um, it will only uh, appear in the render itself. So if we simply go back to our render menu, bring out a ground plane, select say white mat for this ground plane here, and apply that, Oops, apply it, and then go to our metal and let's go to say uh, silver for example select our ring and apply and then when we render this up you'll notice a, a vast difference between something that has had its edges softened to something that's got really hard edges as you uh, probably know V-Ray does not like 90 degree angles doesn't like hard edges but if you soften those edges you get a far better render hope that helps